All right, good morning. Go ahead and get out that waving hand and let's begin, ready? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this morning? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. How are you this morning? Turn to your neighbor and wave your hand. Turn to your neighbor and wave your hand. Turn to your neighbor and wave your hand. Wave your hand this morning. So, today, I have some exciting news before we sing our heart song. Um, yesterday, our family was able to go and get a new cat. What some of you might not know is that last Saturday, our cat who we've had for 18 years had to be put to sleep as she was very old and hurt. And so we have a new cat now, and his name is Houdini, and he is still learning <laughs> about our family and everything. And so I've actually had to restart this video a few times because he's jumped up on me or the couch. And so if you see him, just say hello and we'll see what happens. <laughs> but if you see me looking off past the camera, that's who I'm looking at because he's being so funny. <laughs> But, so, go ahead and we're going to get out the heart today and let's move Dulcie back. Oh, we're going to put Pax in the front today. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hold tight. You are my family, my school family. I feel so happy when you are near. I hope you know, friends, how much I like you. When we're apart, I'll keep you here. Oh! Hi, I see your tail. You, you know, oh, hi. He is behind me right now, so we'll see if he chooses to poke his head up behind or not. But shall we do our morning message? You ready? Here we go. Dear class, today... Stephen is our leader. Stephen likes to play and watch Power Rangers. Today we are going to read a book together. <gasps> so yeah, we get to read a book together. But first, let's read this morning message. Ready? Yeah, I see your foot. Oh, wait, get out. Let me see. You know what? Get a wiggly finger this morning. Make it wiggle. Ready? Begin. Dear class, today Stephen is our leader. Stephen likes to play and watch Power Rangers. Today we are going to read a book together. Yeah, so we get to read one of the books that I gave you. We're going to read it together. But before I t tell you that, let me show you what I am dealing with right here behind me. This right here is Houdini. He's decided to be right behind me and just lay here all snooping these. Yeah. So, we'll see if he continues to join us or not, but here he is. So, today, besides having Houdini show up like a magician he is, we're going to actually read this book together called Hide. So, what I need you to do is to go and find this book. Pause the video if you need to, but go find it. You should have it in the packet. If you don't know where it is, ask mom or dad. They should know. All right, you got your book ready? Let me show you some of the most important things about what we do when we read a book. First, we always read the title, which is Hide. The second thing we look for is down here at the bottom is the author. And since there is only one name, this means the author is both the author one who wrote it, and he drew the pictures. Now, when we get into it, you always hold the front cover towards you. You don't start back here, you start at the front. So when you open it, you turn one page at a time. 
Yeah, we're doing one page. Now, when we read, we always find the first words closest to us. So right here, here's the first word. And we always read going to the right. See how I did that? We always read going to the right. And then we turn the page to read the next words. So we're going to read this together. The easiest thing to do when you are reading a book and following the words is to use a finger and point at each word as we read it. That way we don't miss one. So today we are going to read hide. I wonder what's going to happen. That's another thing a reader does. They ask questions. I see hide being said by a crab and I see a shark. Ooh, now I know sharks like to eat things, usually smaller animals. <gasps> so I wonder if he's going to try and eat the crab. Okay, shall we find out? Oh, here we go. Now I'm going to find the words. Oh, there's the words. So we're going to start right here. Ready? Mike naps. You ready to read it with me? Here we go. Mike naps. Oh, I wonder. Let me see. He, uh, he's awake. So this must be Mike right here. So Mike naps. Now let's turn the page. Oh, here we go. Pat sees a fish. Mm, read it with me. Pat sees a fish. Oh my goodness. I see lots of fish. Shall we count them? Ready? One, two, three, four. Four fish. All right. Turn to the next page up here at the top. I'll read first. Pat sees more fish. Now read it with me. Pat sees more fish. <gasps> so we had four in the last. I wonder if there are more than four on this page. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine fish. So we have four. Then we add five more. That makes nine. All right, now. Let's see what happens next. Pat sees more and more. Read it with me. Pat sees more and more. Shall we count all the fish on this page? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Whoa, I counted 26 fish on that page. You might count more or less than I do because I think I might have miscounted some of those, but that's okay. All right, now let's see. Oh, the fish have fun. Read it with me. The fish have fun. Yeah, look at all that fun. Ooh, what sheep are they making right here? You're right, they're making a circle. And if you want, ooh, I'm gonna sneeze, one moment. If you want, shall we count these fish? Okay, let's do it, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <gasps> so there are less fish on this page than this. Because 21 is less than 26. All right, ooh, what's going to happen next? <gasps> Hide! Oh my goodness, there's an exclamation point. So we have to sound excited. Are you ready to say it with me? Hide! Because look at all that. Why are they scared? Yeah, oh, there's that. Okay, oh, I forgot. Look down here. I forgot some words. Shall we read that again? Ready? A shark! Say it with me. A shark! And then we say, Hide! Whoa, now how many fish? We had 21 on the last page. Let's see. There are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're all either. What are they doing? Hmm. Let's see. I see this guy. He's going pretty fast. And if you're going fast, that means you're running. So he's running. And then down here, do you think the shark will be able to see him? So what are they doing? They're hiding. Let's see. 
Pat can't hide. Read it with me. Pat can't hide. <gasps> and over here. Pat still can't hide. Read it with me. Pat still can't hide. <gasps> Why can't he hide? What are all the other fish doing that poor Pat can't get to? They've taken all the spots, haven't they? Oh no. But there he is, huh? Let's read the words. Pat needs help. Oh no. That's so sad. Let's see. Oh, that's not Pat. Look at that. I was wrong. I thought this was Pat. It's not. And when I read the next page, the shark has Pat. So is that, the, is that Pat? No, the shark doesn't have that. The shark has Pat. So this must be Pat. And he says, help me. Read it with me. Help me. Poor little guy. <gasps> I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder how he, he can get help. Hmm. You know what? Looking back to the beginning of the story, I remember that Pat came from a fishbowl. And there's an elephant with him named Mike. I wonder if Mike might help. Well, I'm seeing, I don't know, because elephants can't breathe underwater. Because see, or maybe Crab's going to help because he has pinchers. Hmm. Let's read and find out what happens. <gasps> Something is coming. Read it with me. Something is coming. <gasps> what could it be? Ooh, what is gray and has pink on the bottom of its foot? And ooh, look at, let's count those toes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five toes that are showing. Hmm. Tell your guess and let's see if you're right. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at that. Mike squished the shark. If you said it was Mike the elephant, then you were right. Look at this. Pat is safe. Read it with me. Pat is safe. <gasps> he saved him. Now Mike has fun. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, what do you do for fun? It looks like Mike likes to swim. But what do you like to do for fun? I like to read books, but I also like to play video games when I have the free time. And now I also get to have fun wrangling a cat who is now sleeping. But Mike needs help. He can't go up. Read it with me. But Mike needs help. He can't go up. <gasps> Why do you think he can't go up? How heavy is an elephant, do you know? An elephant is at least one ton. That's about as heavy as your car. So trying to lift a car up to the surface and try and lift it. Do you think that's really easy? No. So what's gonna help him? Oh, look at that, all these fish helped. And it says, the fish help Mike. Read it with me. The fish help Mike. Oh, there's one more thing. You ready? Pat and Mike are safe. Read it with me. Pat and Mike are safe. <gasps> They're safe back on what? What is this? A boat. Yeah, so they're no longer in the ocean with the shark. And then it says, they nap. Read it with me. They nap. Oh, hey, that sounds familiar. Where else did we hear nap? Was it in the middle of the book? Or was it at the beginning of the book? At the beginning of the book. So it's like a full circle. Have you ever heard that? Where they say it comes around in a full circle? It means that something started and they did the one thing. So they started and Mike was napping. And then there was a whole fun adventure. 
Pat went down and met some fish, and then suddenly there was a shark that came, and then Mike saved Pat from the shark, and then they both ended up napping. So it comes around in a full circle. And that's the end. <gasps> that was so much fun reading this book with you. And we'll do that again with the other two books that I gave you too. But today, one of the things that I have told your parents that you get to do is to take your chalk. So I included two pieces of chalk in your packets and I want you to go out and write your name. And I would love to see some pictures. So writing your name and then you can draw pictures of what you see or you can draw Mike and Pat. I would love to see it. But I want to see pictures of what you do today. And I'll send some of my own too, including my cap. So I love you lots and I can't wait to see you. Big thing to note, next week is spring break. So even though we are already out of school, what that means is that teachers are not going to be doing any lessons next week. I will still post things most likely, but I won't be doing this whole sit down and long lesson. So be aware of that. We'll start again on, I think it is sometime in April. It's not April 1st, but April 6th, the Monday in about a week. So once again, I love you lots and I will see you soon.